Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got a I've got a spinning circle on my screen. Uh, just let me know you can hear me speaking okay. I'll refresh this. Uh, so everything else looks like it's working, apart from me. Okay, looks like I'm I'm okay. So if you can hear me okay, we shall proceed. If someone can let me know. That would be great. To be great, it would be great. What are we doing here? Let me just fix this. Okay, super duper, thank you very much. Hello to everyone who's here in the chat. Hi, Colin. Hi, Dave. Hi, Stephen. Hello, Joe. Uh, hi, Dave. Hi, Sean. Nice to see you. Um, and uh, Jean Le Chen is here as well. I think where he was. Um, Stephen, hi, Wal. And uh, yeah, top job, Wayne. And uh, Season Bones, hi, Stephen. And uh, yeah, anyone else who I may have missed. Thank you for joining me this evening where we're going to do a tutorial on how to set up drum computer uh, multi outs in AUM. Uh, it would work with anything, I, I guess the same. Anyway, so first of all, this is just a singular instance of um, a drum computer. Now, drum computer makes this really very easy to do. Um, first of all, what we want to do is we're going to add here another channel and go to audio and then tap this and we want to be looking at multibus audio instances audio unit instances same kind of thing as you usually do now you can have 10 outputs uh, for each instance of drum computer you have so we're just using one instance but you can have up to 10 multi outs for it we're going to set them all up just for fun hi gary how are you nice to see you and uh, yeah so multibus audio unit instances Okay, so tap this, and the only one we've got is, of course, Drum Computer, because it's the only one that's open, and it supports multibus audio instances, oh, multi-outs. So we're going to select this. Now, we could do this another uh, nine times, but there's a much easier way to do this, and this works for all your multi-out instruments. All we need to do is tap this down here at the bottom, and just go Duplicate. And what it will do is allow, it will add number three, so we're just going to do this um, till we fill up our 10. So we duplicate this and you'll see it's just it's just incrementing numbers as it goes. So it's all cool and it's very quick. It doesn't take a lot of time at all. And you can't even you can't even so there it is. You can't really go wrong because if you try and add another one. It will just give you an X here. So you'll know when you're filled so let's tap to confirm to remove that channel so now we have 10 instances but if we play it again nothing is going through those instances you have to set this up inside drum computer and again drum computer has made this extremely simple for you to do it's very very easy so we just tap on drum computer here and we go first place we need to go is we just go to settings and here where it says channel assignment you'll see audio out master well if you tap on the first one you can choose three and four or anything up to 15 and 16 right but that's that's all you can choose but easiest way to do this the absolute simplest way is down at the bottom here where it says quick setup you can tap the one that says, like, you'll see there's two little icons. One that, like, kind of groups them all together and sends them to one output. That's the master. And there's your drums, one to eight, and then your room and your hall. So your your send effects, if we will like your master. Well, yeah, they're the send effects. All we need to do is hit the little icon. Oops, sorry. All we need to do is hit the little icon next to it, and it will automatically set this up for us. Now, don't worry. It's saying three and four, five and six, seven and eight, master, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. It roots it properly, okay? So this is if you're using DAWs as well. It's all the same, you know, on a desktop or something or whatever. But then now it's done. It's done. So basically, we can just go back to our our kit, if you like, or our sequence or our drum page. We can close this. And now if we play... You'll see, if I just solo that, that'll be that one. And all the way at the end here, we have our... Our send effect outputs as well. 
so. Okay, so let's just go back and check. Well, we can check with any instance of drum computer. They're all exactly the same. Whichever one you adjust here will adjust them all. It, you've only got one, but it's just sending multi outs from that one particular one particular drum if we go in here now and we usually it might be on this page but if we hit this little rainbow with a with a, an arrow pointing down we get to our mixer where we can do our mixing here as well but here are here are your send effects you see and you can choose the size and the hall so you've got hall on or off room on or off the side of that the tone the tail of the hall and the tone and they re they'll respond to the two outputs at the end as well so if we turn them up lots you'll hear it increases our output now our sends for those for each particular channel are here you see uh, in the mixer like that so we can control the sends for the actual send effects but the most fun now of course we can have is by applying different effects to each individual channel will this work on ipad air one i honestly don't know faulty i i, I don't know i've never had an ipad air one i i doubt it <laughs> i i doubt it i don't i don't think so i think the air two would struggle sam's not here to say because he still uses his air two but i don't know Anyway, let's 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 crack on. So now we can completely remove those sends or fade them back in. It's very nice, you see. And we can of course just go in and adjust it here because each of these instances are exactly the same so i'm going to do something else or set something else up what i'm going to do now is hit this i'm going to go with a mix bus and i'm going to go mix bus a and then i'm going to go with this one and go say um where are we mix bus where's mix bus gone um come on oh here it is mix bus and i'm going to have that one mix bus b and I'm going to send half of these uh, to Mixbus B and half of them to Mixbus A, just 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 for fun, just to show some of the cool kind of routings we can do. So to do this, what we need to do is tap on the bottom here and go Mixbus A, and we'll send this one to Mixbus A as well, and this one to Mixbus A. And uh, so how many have we got there? One, two, three, four, and then this one we'll send to Mixbus A as well. And then going along, we'll send this one to Mixbus B, just, just for fun, because we can. Mixbus B and Mixbus B and Mixbus B. Uh, and we'll leave these two uh, alone. We'll leave them as they are, just go doing their own thing. Or we could send them both. Actually, we could just create another Mixbus as well for the master sends. So Mixbus C. And then these two here for the actual send effects, we can send to Mixbus C and Mixbus C, uh, which now gives us even more control. So now we can mix half the kit with A, half the kit with B, and we can mix the, both the sends together without having to, you know, do, do much else. So let's see what that sounds like. So now we're just hearing the first four channels. Sorry. Take the sends out completely. Or mix between them here. Second set of instruments.
So what we could do now is we could go in here and say, right, well, on the effects mix bus, let's apply something else. Let's apply maybe a black hole. So this is just going to, the black hole is only going to be listening to those, those sends, the reverb. So it's going to be affecting only the reverbs. And we still have complete control over the both independent mixers here. That's not. Hmm. What's the what have I done here? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Sean. Thank you very much. Hi V, how are you doing? <laughs> so now we can apply effects to uh, anything we like really, we can, what's this? Or we can just randomize it. Come and have a look at our sequencer. We could put maybe a uh, satin on there. on this one let's put looperator this is another sugar biter oh thanks for thanks We could apply an effect to affect the first half. Maybe um, sound is it this one might not be that one actually it might be this one
So making a few like subtle adjustments to the sound. So now we can start to maybe vary the pattern up. A couple of cool things you can do here in drum computer. <clears throat> each each drum, each of the eight drums, right, has its own page of controls. You have a resonator, a wavetable, and a resynth. You can randomize each and each drum independently. You, you've got tons of control, loads and loads. And it looks a bit complex, but it's it's quite straightforward. Once you suss out how one page works, you're you're good for everything else. But there's so much content in here. I think Wal really nailed it when he's just said, "Pick a patch, mess with the patch. Don't don't bother trying with an init because you'll be there all day, sort of thing." So anyway, the point is that you can pretty much do what you like. But this make kit here is really cool. This will change. It will randomize all the sounds. It will pick new sounds. For the entire kit, right? What's it? What's that? Um, oh, thanks, Joe. <laughs> It'll randomize everything for the entire kit. We'll keep the pattern the same. Now, of course, we can go into the sequence here and we can randomize the global. We can randomize the pattern or we can randomize each individual drum lane or we can pro program our own drums in. It's not like, you know, it's not, hi Sam. It's not like you can you can't do that. Uh, but it's nice if you just randomize the kit, which will leave the pattern intact. But you'll get some really very interesting results. And the cool thing is, you have undo and redo. So if you really didn't like the effect, you could go right. Okay, let's do this. Let's make a new kit. Oh, maybe I didn't like it and it'll just go back so you know or okay that's cool so let's randomize the whole pattern maybe add some more in John, brilliant, thank you very much. Nothing coming through there at all. There is. Oh, I know why. It's when you solo it, it's not right. It's fine. it again or oh, let's pick another kit
let's put something on this, shall we? So keep our same effect settings and just just change up the pattern. Huh? They do sugar bites, Stephen. You're up. They have brilliant tutorials. Sugar bites, really, really great. So let's take a listen to this this drum. Number two, sorry. Put a satin, a satin on there. And maybe increase the the time on Velvet Machine. That's one of the sends. So is that so? Uh, this is an uh, uh, iPad Pro twenty twenty.
okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear clear this okay and i'm going to set it up again for people who may have joined a bit later how to set up your multi outs and we'll kind of do the same kind of thing but it'll be completely different of course so like i said right at the beginning you can go back and check but you know if you're here and you've just joined recently you'll see how it's all set up from scratch again because it it tends to get a bit complicated especially when you start using mix buses as well so i'll try and keep this pretty straightforward first thing we do is we want to create an audio track um and then first thing we want to add in is a drum computer like this and then this is a drum computer standing on its own and drum computer allows for multi outputs so the second track we're going to create an audio track hit this and we're going to look for multi bus audio instances if we just go with audio unit extension we'll just literally just add another another one of these um drum computers you can have as many drum computers as your system will handle but you know it's easier to just do it like this for now audio unit extension multibus audio instance we tap on this and there it is drum computer now drum computer allows for 10 uh instance multi instance outputs so multibus audio unit output you can have 10 of them per per you know per drum computer that, that's it so what we're going to do now is we're going to tap on this here and we're going to go duplicate and this is the easy way to do it right so you see it's added two there and it's added three there we could go in here and go audio and then multibus audio instance and then add another one and it'll add number four but it's much quicker as you can see just to go okay right i'm going to do this duplicate and it will add the correct output next next to it because you can't have two number fives or two so it just adds the next available one duplicate again duplicate again duplicate again duplicate again <laughs> duplicate and there we have our 10 channels now you can duplicate again but it'll just give you an x you can't that's it you only get 10. then the next thing you do and this is really mightily important because if you play now nothing happens at all what's straight oh no no what happens is you have to to get drum computers to actually work in your auv3 host you have to hit this little forward playing button here and then this is kind of engaged the transport for you if you don't hit that you won't like this is what will happen nothing nothing will happen you have to tap that first and now so let's choose a different kit to start off with let's go with this i don't know what this one is but it'll be good they're all good cool beans i like that one okay so now we've got a pattern but you'll notice that even i'm playing this pattern now if i just move that out of the way and play it's still it's still not multi-bus it's still not outputting and you'd be thinking it i when i first tried it, i thought yeah, yeah i'd be thinking that was multi but it's not you still have to do something else inside drum computer now this is the same for a lot of apps you know like you know um koala you have to tell the drum the original drum computer where to send the channels okay and the channels are all your drum kits here right and the two effects sends the hall and the room i'll sh show you that in just a sec in fact i'll show you it now tap this little eye arrow here the one with the little rainbow it takes you to the mixer so it, like i said it gives 10 outputs right so one to eight nine and ten for the room and the hall these are your effects these are your master effects and these are the sends for those effects okay so you can output you you're outputting the room in the hall as two extra channels as well and that sounds really cool when you start to take them in or out or even apply extra effects to them but the main thing is to get it to work as multi out you have to go into settings here and when it says channel assignment you'll see audio out don't worry about the midi so much but where it says audio out and it says master on all of those and if you tap them you'll see it gives you some options your five and six seven blah blah 
just go all the way down to the bottom there and where it says quick setup right you'll see two little icons underneath quick setup the first icon is this so it's taking all of those all of those audio outputs and routing them into one master you can probably see that if we tap this one it routes them all to the individual channels don't worry about it saying three four five six seven you can't change that it doesn't matter it routes it correctly in AUM for you. Okay, so now when we play, you'll see that it's routed all our instruments correctly. And these last two are the effect sends. So, so there you're hearing the whole effect. And there you're hearing the room effect. If we take them out, the sound is completely dry now. But we can make it sound even more. Now you don't have to keep going back to channel one neither. All of these, all of these here, all of these drum computers that you can see, they're all identical. They're all identical copies of this. So whichever one you pick, you will change on everything. Okay, let's get out of settings. Let's go to our kit. So you don't have to keep going backwards and forwards. They're just the same drum computer. They're just different icons for them, that's all. They don't do anything different. What the action happens in the channels and routing out. Okay, so we just tap this like this. And we can make global adjustments to all our stuff. So you'll see here that the hall, uh, if we increase the size and the tail here, you'll see that on some of these, some of these, the hall effect is turned down. Okay, so we can make actual, we can turn them all down and then kind of bring them back in as we wish. And now when we press play, even though our hall is turned up on our size and our tail are quite large, you won't hear any hall effect. And if I take out the room, see, it's gonna do nothing at all. So let's let's apply some to say, uh, number two. Thanks, Tommy. Thank you very much. So now we've got some noticeable reverb going on. We can control the entire mix of that with this. And that's the room. So this is your kind of send level now. So let's uh, have a listen. There's the kick. So these are your different instruments. We've soloed the kick, so that's all here. If we hit random, or if we tap here, we can go up, we can replace this with pretty much anything. So we've got kick, full, snare, simple, synth. Or maybe let's just tap kick. And randomizing, we can choose I don't know why I've oh if I press that why have I oh Don't know why I've not I've lost my uh, kick. That's strange. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Let me just randomize the kit and get off a soloed instrument. So, oh, I'm gonna minute. I know why. I muted it somewhere. Is anyone paying attention here? <laughs> Go. 
So now we've got a synth in here now. Let's choose this. So number five. Then it is on our AUM strip. So now we can apply an individual AU AUV3 of any effect we like to, to this now. And I'm particularly digging Velvet Machine at the moment, so. Now let's have a mess round. Let's just randomize the entire kit. Cool beans, let's go and randomize the sequence, the, the whole sequence here in global. We'll add some swing, shall we? Thanks, Stephen. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me, mate. It really does. Thank you. How cool is it, though? And we've got loads of other cool stuff we can do, right? For each drum, you see, I'm highlighted on number five, we're working on number five. But for each drum, we've got all these different things we can do. So, for instance, we're on number five, and we've got like this kind of. We'll solo it. I soloed on. There we go. So there's some randomized. It looks the velocity, probability. So if I take the probability down, it's going to play every time. We've got some rolls. Let's let's put a roll on this one. And this one. A pitch. We can change the pitch. and we can have some modulation going on then you have velocity ramping up if i was to like have a load of them going on sort of thing let me just undo that it's very clever and we see we're panned all the way over so let's bring that back to the center let's apply another auv3 Turn it up a bit. Let's put something like um, Dragonfly on there. That's self modulate it, slow it down, increase the factor. Go back in and I'm going 
going to go to number two and just keep randomizing until I find something or. sequence and I don't know what it's doing there so it won't do a couple of times Randomised in the pattern, just get randomised in this. We'll just give you a new a new kit if you like. Brilliant it is. Guys, there you go. Thank you very much for joining me this evening where we took a look at how, how to set up, quite simply how to set up a drum computer uh, for audio bus multi outs. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, if I showed it a couple of times, you the key thing to remember, the key, key, key is go into settings and it's your channel assignment and just choose this this little button here, the, the this one. We've just put it back to one channel, but it makes it so easy. And don't forget the other tip as well is just once you put one channel in, just hit duplicate and it will increment the right channels for you. Hi, Ross, how are you? I thought, when did you, oh no, you don't go to, till till december dear uh, so you just increment the channels as you go and yeah it's very it's very nice it sounds great though you know i mean i i it's just it just sounds really lovely i think it's a it's a it's a fantastic drum machine anyway guys i'm just gonna have a blast around with it have a mess with it just before i go and uh yeah top job cool beans and i will see you all Oh no, tomorrow I'm probably not streaming tomorrow. I've got some stuff I have to do. But uh, that'll be, I shall be back the next day. Yes, with some other cool bean stuff. I, who knows? I don't know. Could be anything. Oh, hi, Daniel as well. Oh, it's Mars Capone. Hi, Mars. And uh, yeah, brilliant. Cool beans. And I'll see you later. Ta-da.
Yeah, I just hope you have a really, really uh, uh, good flight. Infinite, didn't they? You could do a gig with this. <laughs> <laughs> 